Well, hi, this is Ray Mossholder. I'm going to start this whole article with that I'm going to share with you with a song that was extremely popular when I was a kid. You'll understand I chose it when we get into the heart of what I want to share with you now. Oh, mazy dotes and dozy dotes and little lambs eat ivy, a kid lead ivy too, wouldn't you? Oh, mazy dotes and dozy dotes and little lambs eat ivy, a kid lead ivy too, wouldn't you? Now, if these words aren't clear and seem funny to your ear, would maybe a little bit jumbled and jivey. Sing mares eat oats, and does eat oats, and little lambs eat ivy. Ho oh, mares eat oats, and does eat oats, and little lambs eat ivy. A kiddle eat ivy too, wouldn't you? A kiddle eat ivy too, wouldn't you? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Hot dog, but why did I start with that song? Is because it fits in beautifully with, with what I want to bring center stage right now. And I want to send thanks to Dorothy Baker for sending me Richard Lederer's email. It was at that email that triggered my imagination to produce memories. And there are so many other words and phrases I could have used in this article to remind us oldies but goodies of the way we were the way we were words become obsolete because time changes phrases i vividly remember include ah ah ah, ah don't touch that dial carbon copy you sound like a broken record I get the neck of the chicken. I get the rumble seat ride. And you've really left me hung out to dry. And just as I wonder how my childhood so quickly disappeared, and the treasures, too, that no one could convince me then would get lost forever, or even lost at all because he meant so much. Where do words go after they get used up? At what precise minute does each word disappear? I think I'll have a Delaware punch and contemplate all this. Back in the olden days, we had a lot of steam. We'd accentuate the positive and we wouldn't mess with Mr. in between. Chicks had to put up with guys saying things like, Hubba hubba ding ding, baby, you got everything. Or, I wish I had that swing in my backyard. We twist and shout like we did last summer. We can really do a mean two step on the dance floor with a girl and then go park somewhere where it was dark. And of course, I'd just talk with her. It was the other guys who you envied who were necking and petting and smooching and spooning and billing and cooing and pitching woo in hot rods and jalopies in some passion pit or lover's lane or at the drive-in movies. Heavens to Betsy G. Willikers, jumping G. Hazafat, holy moly. We were in like Flynn and living the life of Riley and even a regular guy couldn't accuse us of being a belly flop. They said instead that I was swell. Swell meant I was great. Swell today is a word used by doctors and no one wants to hear that word. Swell was a good thing that has gone the way of stick in the mud. Crew cuts and DAs. Cars that had fenders. Stick shift and necker's knob. Kilroy was here, but he isn't anymore. Like little Lulu, Mutton Jeff, little Abner, Alley Oop, Henry Aldrich, Charlie McCarthy, and Baby Snooks. We have at some point in time dropped these things. 
like a lead balloon. We oldies but goodies have become changed by today's culture. It's not just the younger generations who have forgotten our words or never heard them. Word of long ago, it's someone else has to remind us or we'll never think of them again unless we go see now. We wake up from what surely has been just a short nap and before we can say, I'll be a monkey's uncle or Jack Robinson or this is a fine kettle of fish. We discover that the words we grew up with, the words that seemed omnipresent as oxygen, have vanished without a trace. Poof, poof, poof go the words of our youth, the words we've left behind. We blink and they were gone, completely erased from the chalkboard of our life. Or we find they must have been written in invisible ink. What happened to my Dick Tracy wristwatch? Captain Midnight's secret decoder batch? Tom Mick's bullet ring? Tiddlywinks? Skate keys? Candy cigarettes? Little wax bottles of colored sugar water? Shetland ponies? You set on to have a picture taken to make you look like a cowboy. Flagpole sitters. And the organ grinder's monkey. Where'd they go? Where have all those bigger than life treasures long time passing? Where have all those treasures gone long time ago? Heck. Hey, let's play Uncle Wiggly. Uncle Wiggly takes 10 hops while in the woods, the ice cream pops. Think about the starving kids in China. Bigger than a bread box. Is it animal, vegetable, or mineral? Banned in Boston. The very idea. Well, it's your nickel. Don't forget to pull the chain. Knee high to a grasshopper. Turn of the century. Iron curtain. Domino theory. Fail safe. Civil defense. Fiddlesticks. Kids, dive under your desks if an atom bomb goes off. You look like the wreck of the Hesperus. You have cooties. Going like 60. I'll see you in the funny papers. Don't take any wooden nickels. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Happy landing on a candy bar. And away we go. Oh, my stars. Hey, let's play Red Rover. Jacks. Pin the tail on the donkey. Pick up sticks. Hide and go seek. Cowboys and Indians. Freeze. Or let's go roller skating. I can always rent the skates. Or maybe we'll just go out in the street and play baseball until it gets dark when our moms will call us home. Ready or not, here I come. It turns out there are more of these lost words phrases, memories, and expressions, then Cotter has little liver pills. This can be disturbing stuff, this huge list of words that somehow got deleted from our youth, these words that lodge deep in our hearts but not in our memories unless someone stirs them up. And just like you can't live through your childhood twice unless you're senile, you can't return to those thrilling days of yesteryear and the thundering hooves of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Because the language of the 40s just sounds like so much gray hair stuff to the younger generation who are making up their own words that will be forgotten 40 years from now. 
swept into the river and then into their sea of forgetfulness. So let's take an old-fashioned walk. I'm just bursting with talk. What a tale could be told if we went for an old-fashioned walk. Still, there's no way for a young buck to remember. Henry! Henry Aldrich! Coming, mother! Or listening to stories on the radio, well calculated to keep you in suspense. Completely gone with the door slammed shut, her life with Luigi. Dr. IQ, the middle banker. I'll give you 30 silver dollars. It pays to be ignorant, to be dumb, to be dense, to be ignorant. It pays to be ignorant, just like me. Or how about Craft Music Hall with Bing Crosby? Or the Cisco Kid? Or Judy Canova? Or your hit parade with Snooky Lanson? Arthur Godfrey? Al Jolson? The FBI in Peace and War? The Quiz Kids with Joel Kupperman? Grand Central Station? Ma Perkins. Queen for a day. Young Winter Brown. Lorenzo Jones and his wife, Belle. Stella Dallas, backstage wife that always began, can a woman over 40 find happiness? <laughs> These were Cracker Jacks with a prize in every package. Songs were always very clean. Very pure, like, cuddle up a little closer, baby mine. Have a fool around and fool around with all our might. Oh, oh, I never knew any girl like you. Or I used to work in Chicago in a department store. I used to work in Chicago. I did, but I don't anymore. And I won't even repeat the rest of the words of that song. And it was Phil Harris's song. Oh, what a time I had with Minnie the Mermaid down in her seaweed bungalow. I lost all my morals in amongst those corals while she was just as sweet as she could be. And every night when the starfish came out, I hugged and kissed her so Oh, what a time I had with Minnie the mermaid down in her seaweed bungalow. You know, come, come to think of it, not all of our songs were pure. Recently, I talked with a guy who had never heard of John Wayne. And there are hundreds of movie stars that hardly any younger person would remember today. Like... Sonny Tufts, William Gargan, Barry Fitzgerald, Van Johnson, Veronica Lake, Barbara Stanwyck, Jennifer Jones, Claudette Colbert. Their names are lost, like the names of Perry Como, Bobby Darren, Patty Page, Joe Stafford, and even Doris Day. Most people who hear those names would sing, Que sera, sera, if they knew who those people were or what those words meant. Jute boxes that played a song for a nickel, as you said in a restaurant, and six songs for a quarter. Phosphorescent socks. Licorice. And the most dreaded castor oil are as unavailable today as look candy bars. I mean, you can't go down to F.W. Woolworths and get any of that stuff. Or sit at their counter and have a cherry phosphate to drown your sorrows. We people uh, who others call old 
We're privileged to live in America in the good old days. All those words that seem ancient to the younger generation were like shiny toys that got lost in translation. Toys have no age, but I can't imagine whatever happened to 10 soldiers or my lighthouse lamp or my 78 RPM records with K. Kaiser and Ishka Bibble, Spike Jones and the City Slickers, Jerry Colonna, Burl Ives, Gene Autry, and dozens and dozens of others. Richard Lederer says, quote, we who are at the end of the chronological arc have the advantage of remembering these words and names that once did exist an honest engine they did and all of them meant something wonderful to us these were words that once strutted their hour upon the earthly stage and now are heard no more except in our collective memory of great times gone far away it's one of the greatest advantages of aging we can have archaic and eat it too now, if you got any beef with this brainchild that I've written, don't flip your wig because it'll be a bum rap. I remember, I'm rubber, you're glue. Everything bounces off me and sticks to you. Know what I mean, jelly bean? See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Bye-bye, butterfly. Pretty soon, baboon. Plant you down, dig you later. Out the door, dinosaur. Ollie, ollie, oxen, free, free, free.